Well, we are finally into single digit days. That's right, we're at day number nine in my countdown to Modern Warfare 3. What's up, everybody? My name is Rock. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And this is the home stretch right now. I mean, you can't get any more in the home stretch than single digit days. Playing a little free for all here in Modern Warfare 2 using the Vector with a silencer on it. And uh, what I'm going to talk about today, the single player campaign. And I probably should have used some single player campaign footage. But let's face it, let's get realistic here. When you come onto YouTube and watch gameplay commentaries, how often do you really want to see single player campaign footage? Not that often. Uh, there are some guys that do really, really well with Let's Plays through single player uh, campaigns and in different games and some of them have done it in the Call of Duty series but I think the majority of people really want to see multiplayer games the competition I know that's what I I like to do very rare will I ever watch a single player campaign video from anyone here on YouTube uh, about the only time I do that is if I'm trying to find something special like Intel or hidden objects uh, in order to get an achievement of some type, then I might consult YouTube in order to try and find those locations. So for me, single player campaign, not that important of an item for YouTube. Pretty long host migration there, so I cut it out so you wouldn't have to sit through it. Back to the gameplay now, though. Uh, single player campaign, uh, don't get me wrong, I like the single player campaigns in Call of Duty. Uh, I very much prefer the Infinity Ward timeline as opposed to the Treyarch one, although World at War was probably one of the hardest single player campaigns I have ever done in the Call of Duty series on Veteran. That thing was a freaking nightmare and uh, I, I have to say that's probably one of my favorite achievements is getting all of World at War done and accomplished on Veteran. And uh, as ever since that game the single player campaign has become less and less important for me. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I finished the single player campaign, but I did not do it on Veteran. Uh, Black Ops, I'm going to tell you right now, I never finished the campaign. I'm about 75% of the way through, and I really need to go back and finish that, and I uh, just haven't done it. And I want to play the single player campaign for Modern Warfare 3 because I do want to find out what happens to these characters. It's just like a movie or a TV show. you got to tune in to the next episode to find out what happens to these characters that you have invested time into. Um, I think the Black Ops characters just really didn't have that capturing effect for me. Uh, I don't know. It just didn't have something that made me want to come back and finish it. Uh, Woods was a pretty intriguing character, but it just wasn't enough to keep me roped into it, and the multiplayer took up majority of my time. Uh, as for Modern Warfare 3, I want to know what happens to Soap. I want to know what happens to Captain Price, that beast. I mean, Captain Price, an amazing character for, for any game. I mean, he is right in, as far as I'm concerned, Captain Price is in the same league as Master Chief, Marcus Phoenix, Mario, you know, these iconic game characters. Captain Price is a beast, man. I mean, you can't stop this guy. And I want to find out what happens in this storyline. I want to make sure that they hunt down and kill Makarov for all the things he's done. And not just what he's done in the past titles, but what he's going to be doing in this one. Looks like he's going to be traveling all over the world and destroying incredible landmarks. Uh, looks like New York City is going to be under attack. They're going to be right there on Wall Street, fighting right in front of the New York Stock Exchange. They're going to carry that fight to Paris, right in front of the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre. It's going to be crazy. They're going to Germany, London, all over the world trying to hunt him down. And uh, it's going to make for pretty exciting sequences. I think Michael Bay could probably take a page out of the notebook of Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer on this one when Modern Warfare 3 is done we're probably going to be thinking that and it's actually pretty amazing what they can accomplish in game with these game engines as far as you know complex explosions and sequences like that it's just like the subway scene in London 
that's the type of scene you'd see in a major blockbuster movie, you know. But here it is in a video game. We get to experience it. That's the great thing about video games. It's participation. You are not just sitting there watching the story. You're participating with it. And that's the great thing about video games as a whole. But that's going to do it for this one. This is multiplayer. This is free for all. And I hope you enjoyed it. I went 30 and 2 with the vector. Finish off with the dual glocks. I will see you guys tomorrow for day number 8. Hope you have a fantastic day.